I have been cosplay tagged. Hey guys, this is Two Cents and I've been cosplay tagged by Domo Cosplay. Um, so I'm supposed to introduce myself, which I just did. I'm Two Cents on the internet. Uh, that's what I use pretty much everywhere on the internet. If I've met people in person, I give them the name, but for internet purposes, let's just go with Two Cents. I was supposed to dress up in my latest costume, and that is Yazoo. It's not completely done. Um, these gloves are just gloves, and the wig needs some fixing, and yeah, there's a couple little things, but it's mostly done, so I figured I'd show it off a little bit. First question, how did I get into cosplay? Well, to tell the honest truth, um, I was super, 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 super madly depressed, and I decided screw life and everything, and I got in my car and drove to a convention and lied to everybody about where I was and hung out there for the weekend and uh, I saw people, I wasn't cosplaying, I was actually there because of the concert that was going on, And but I saw people cosplaying and I was like, well, that looks kind of fun, I mean, it looks better than being depressed and all that, so I tried it and it turned out that I liked it, so I just kept doing it. How long have I been cosplaying? Well, many years ago I dressed as a, a hobbit in one of the Lord of the Rings movie premieres, but I don't really count it as cosplaying just because I didn't really think of it as cosplaying and I didn't know what cosplaying was, so I don't really count that as cosplaying. I've been consciously actively cosplaying since... Like... 2006 or seven, something like that. How many cosplays have I done? Like a million. I've got Yazoo, obviously. I've got three squalls. Uh, I've got Van. Um, I've once made a really terrible attempt at Sosuke from Full Metal Panic. I have May from Avatar, um, I have The Wanderer from Shadow of the Colossus, and I'm working on a super secret awesome one, actually two super secret awesome ones that maybe we'll get to see Katzcon, hopefully. So, um, a lot, man. A lot, man. This next question is pretty obvious if you've seen any of my videos. How do I get my costumes? I make them, <laughs> obviously. Um, because there's a million videos on this channel of me making costumes and sewing by hand for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. I guess my first cosplay was that Hobbit thing that I wore uh, to the movie premiere, but it's not a really cosplay. My first cosplay that I sat down and made was Squall. And I made it from like the stuff that I had in my closet and like duct tape and glue, basically. <laughs> It was so bad, but I felt so cool. I thought it was the greatest thing in the world, and I had so much fun doing it, so even though it was a terrible costume, and I don't even think I'd find it, I think, yeah, it was awful. But even though it was that awful, I, I love it. I have fond memories of that costume just because I had so much fun doing it. My favorite costume might be Von Fono from Vision of Escaflone. Even though Vaughn isn't my favorite character that I've done, Squall is definitely my favorite character from one of, the, of the ones I've done. Um, I love like the reactions I get when I have the Vaughn Funnel costume with the wings, and it's just a lot of fun to walk around with those wings. I mean, it becomes unfun pretty soon because they're heavy and the harness hurts, and yeah, but it's pretty fun. I get a lot of really fun reactions. The favorite thing about cosplay is probably just getting to not be myself for a little while. Um, I really like going around and being called by the character's name and like just the person who I am when I'm not on the internet and not making costumes and not being two cents. Like being completely separated from like my real self who goes to work and school and all that stuff. It's so much fun for me. I like it a lot. So um, I think 
just not being myself for a little while is the most fun part. I have about a million cosplay pet peeves. I'm probably a big jerk for having so many pet peeves, but um, yeah, some of them. Um, people who don't wear wigs and their hair isn't even remotely close. Like if you have the perfect hair for the character, which is extremely unlikely, then fine, go for it. But you probably don't have the perfect hair for the character, so just buy a wig. It's, it's not that expensive if you have a job to get a wig. And it looks so much better, because these characters have hair that defies reality, so just, just get a wig! <laughs> um, it also drives me crazy when girls don't bind. I know that's like, I know that like for some girls it's really hard. It's easier for me than for a lot of girls. Um, and I know that it hurts a little bit, but it doesn't hurt that bad. <laughs> and like, it just makes such a huge difference. Just that one thing, just only just binding your chest makes such a huge difference in the costume. So it kind of bugs me when people don't find it. Um, another cosplay pet peeve, uh, no makeup, um, seams that aren't finished and are like pretty bad, <laughs> um, people who obviously kind of just half-assed it even though they could have done better, like when I made my costume out of stuff in my closet, it was terrible, but I worked my ass off on that terrible costume. Um, but my biggest cosplay pet peeve, after saying all that and being a big jerk, is people who take it too seriously. Ultimately, it's for fun. I'm not great at sewing. This costume has a ton of imperfections that I'm sure people are noticing, but the ultimate thing is that I'm doing the best I can with the skills I have, and it looks alright, and I'm out there to have fun. It should be about that more than anything else. I have friends who don't finish their seams and who don't bind and all that. And you know what? It doesn't matter. If it bugs me, I wouldn't personally go about without binding or something. But if that's what they want to do, fine. Because I still like hanging out with them and I still like cosplaying with them because they have fun doing it. And yeah, that's what's important. Alright, the last thing I'm supposed to do for this tag is tell you about my most recent cosplay. Well, there's one in the works that I'm not going to tell you about, except to say that it also involves this wig. But, um, as for this one, uh, it's pretty simple. It's just a lot of pleather and, um, a lot of little pieces all sewn together. Um, the shoulder pads are squishy because they're stuffed with, uh, a little leftover fabric. Um, the gloves, I did not make the gloves. Um, there's chicken wire in the sleeves to make them do that poofy circle-y thing. Uh, these straps come off, um, but I'm not going to take them off right now. The zipper separates at the bottom and there's, I don't know if you can see it with the hair and everything, but there's the details on the back and the crisscross and yeah. I'm still working on the gun, but all I have to do is paint it and attach the gun's holster to that thing that was hanging down my back. And that'll be it. It'll be more or less done. It's a little wiggity because I had trouble working with the pleather. Now I have to tag four people, and this was actually pretty tough. Um, but here's who I'm going to tag, and I'll put the name on the bottom in case I'm saying it wrong or something. I tried to pick people who I'm pretty sure cosplay, but if I picked you and you don't cosplay, um, sorry. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm gonna pick Seriously Lonely Werewolf, um, Nekoyasha23 some 15? Um, Kira Elric. And the last person I'm going to pick is Captain Lucifer, who I met on Cosplay.com. And it looks like she's a pretty cool cosplay. Alright, so that's it. Now you know a little bit more about me. Kind of. <laughs>
Anyway, um, Katakan and New York Comic Con are coming up soon, so I will probably see you then.